At my old place, I sometimes couldn't get into the bathroom. It was too hard. It was too tough. I get locked in the bathroom sometimes. And there's no lock on the door. I just was too weak. Wait, what? Hey there. Christine. Christine here. Kyle here. Kyle here. It's a beautiful rainy day in Vancouver right now. And we're going to do what you should do on rainy days. Of course. Get drunk and watch a dumb movie in the city. Or go out to the streets, find a fight. Christine, do you know the movie Terminator? Yes, I love that movie. Do you know the movie Terminator 2? I also love that movie. What about, do you know the movie Blade Runner? No, never heard of it. Forget all of those movies. <gasps> Forget them. Uh, so this movie. Mmm, we got a sp- Ooh, we got ooh, a, a spicy ooh, meatball. Ooh, we got a special. Movie. Ooh, and she's Italian. She should know. She mm-hmm. loves spicy meatballs. I do this, unironically, all the time. Ooh, she's like the front of a pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! What's the name of the movie we're watching today? Nemesis. That's right. This is a 1993 movie that rips off Terminator. Nemesis is a movie that we know very little about except for the trailer that featured a lot of people shooting at the main character including an old lady in a sundress shooting at the main character. She kind of goes like uh, like that. Eyes. So it's a movie about cyborgs, a disgruntled, exhausted LA cyborg cop. Nemesis, drunk movie day, straight to DVD. Christine, lock yourself in. All right. Oh, there's only one. Juice. Huh? Whoo! You're not really human anymore, are you? He knows the answer, but he doesn't know the question. I think he accepted the story, but the time he learns the truth, it'll be too late. Cheers. Yuck. We're back from watching Nemesis. It was a blast. Oh, how do you begin to explain this movie? The main character looked and sounded like Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. Not as melty, but just as much expression and weirdly jacked as well. Tiny, tiny waist. I just likened him to Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. Real tight. Everything's real tight, but it goes out and then the pants are always real high. But you don't mind where they're going. I gotta say, the stunts are sick. What's your favorite stunt? I mean, out of nowhere, the pixie tank girl just like walks off a building. Then she does like this full, like complete cartwheel, cartwheel through the air. Well, the first 20 minutes of this movie is the main character getting blown up and then put back together again to become more and more cyborg. What's that, Million Dollar Man? Hundred Million Dollar Man? Well, for inflation, it's a Hundred Dollar Million Dollar Man. What could you get for a million now? We have the technology. We have the capability to make the... Like a new knee. What kind of knee? Like a metal, like a metal knee, but a good metal knee. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. These days, I'd say a leg, boobs, facelift, new butt. <laughs> Wait, what do these Arms. help you at all? Oh, what about like a tummy tuck and pecs? That sounds like a million dollars. Seven things. You're just talking about plastic surgery, though. None of these help you fight crime. Well, of course they help you fight crime. New pecs? Yeah. What and you got the power new do boobs pecs give top. you? You can go... Mm-mm. Thomas Jane is in this movie. You see his ass so he much. He make it a lot, but you never see dick. But he's like with this woman who's pretty cool. She gets murdered, of course. But she's pretty, she like gives, martyrs herself. So this loser she gets cut in half. can get. And her eyeballs ripped out. Yeah. And you see her Savvy boobs get eyeballs. blown apart at one point. Yeah, like, and then you see her boob, like, when she's been shot up, fried, you see that her boob is all fucked up, but it's, like, open and available. What made you more upset? The fact that they showed her blown up robot boob, or the fact that you didn't get to see Thomas Jane's dick? The robot boob. Okay, good to I'd know. I'd prefer to see a dick Who than a wouldn't? fried boob. Any Although, day. like, a soft dick is weird to see in public. 
Well, when I was just out of high school, my friends from high school wanted to go to this club called Fever. If you went to the, the back carpeted room, you could see men stripping, and then you just sit on like fold out chairs. One guy had a big flame in a pot. I almost put this woman's hair on fire, but she come to me and she's like, I'm into it. But he almost lit her hair on fire. And they have to put a towel on, on the person's legs when they flop their dick at you. Do you remember why you were telling me this story? <laughs> no, but I don't remember a lot of things. Near the end of the movie, we have a character that has shown up before several times trying to stop the main character, and at the very end, they have a standoff. <laughs> yeah. And the main character's like, I'm here to stop you finally, and he's like the one bad guy who got away. Like that one bad guy David in the Lynch epilogue hair. of every movie gets away, and they get their comeuppance at the end. So the main character corners him in a different city a year later or whatever, but he corners him, and he has a standoff with him, and then he's like, don't do it! And then he shoots his dick off. <laughs> And I wish that a lot more movies ended with people just getting their dick shot off. Mm -hmm. Imagine Jurassic Park. Raptor. Dr. Alan Grant shoots Raptor's dick off. Like, imagine Back to the Future. Biff right. Tannen gets his dick shot off. Right. Thank God there's three more movies after this to follow. Is there? There's not three more movies, right? This was one. There's four Nemesis. Nemesi? Nemesi? No way. Nemesu? You're joking, right? I don't fucking joke around about this shit, Christine. Are you fucking kidding me? How is there another one? Put that knife down. Christine. <laughs> I didn't even know I was carrying it. Out of ten countries that no longer exist because a movie studio blew it up, what would you give this movie? I'd give this movie a seven. And here's why I'm rating it so high. Action sequences, great. If you can watch this movie dubbed in another language, I think it could be okay. Why are you taking away three points from this movie? Is it because you didn't see Thomas Jane's dick? Sorry, bro. Yawn. See you next time. Thanks for coming to the show. What the f- <laughs>